Hi there, this is Charlotte and Melinda here today to tell you about carbon dioxide. We'll be doing an experiment that will show you what carbon dioxide can do. Charlotte, what is carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide is a kind of um, gas. Can you tell us anything else about it? Um, carbon dioxide is a gas, is something that we breathe out and that plants take in is used in fire extinguishers. That's right. And so today we're going to show you how it can be used in fire extinguishers. We're going to show you how we can put out the flame in this very candle, not by using water or by snuffing it out or blowing it out. We're going to use carbon dioxide. And here are the tools that we're going to use that you can try at home. We're going to use an acid, which is vinegar in this case. And a base, which is baking soda in this case. Excellent. And so my assistant Charlotte is going to first fill this bowl with a shallow layer of baking soda. And while she does that, we're going to talk about safety with matches. Now, if you're doing this experiment at home, kids, be sure not to use matches by yourself. Don't ever try to start a fire by yourself. Always get a grown-up to help you. It's very important. Thank you, Charlotte. Let's see how it's coming along. There we go. We have a nice shallow layer of baking soda in there, our base. And now Charlotte is going to put the candle inside of the bowl where the baking soda is. And I'm going to light the candle using the match. Remember, I can do this because I'm a grown-up. Letting our candle, it could be any kind of candle. Okay. And I'll show you here. We have, indeed, let's see right here. The candle's flame is lit. Right there. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how we can extinguish the flame by using carbon dioxide. We have the baking soda in there, and now we're going to put the vinegar in. Move the camera so you can see better. And watch what happens. There we go. Ready? Notice that I'm not putting the vinegar on the candle. There we go. Oh, we're putting it around the candle. As you can see, it is bubbling here. Um, because the more it mixes in, the more it bubbles to put out flame. Excellent. And it already <laughs> put out a flame today. And so we would like to try this one more time so we can actually leave what this has done. Excellent. Just I readjust the camera right there. Thank you. Excellent. And the flame indeed went out, just like Charlotte said. We're going to try it again. I think we'll use a different bowl just to show people how it works. How it really does look in this thing. And then after that, we're going to make a, a different, you know, vegetables, kimchi's, like something that you can eat after you do, do an experiment, which I really like to eat when I do it. Mom, my mom hasn't tried it yet. We're going to, to recreate the experiment here. I've got the same candle right here. It's also in a bowl with baking soda around it. And then I can pull this vinegar. Well, well first we're going to we're going to make sure that the flame is lit. Mm -hmm. There we go. This is just to show you that that wasn't a fluke. This is really happening. Okay, you see, we have. Our candle flame, it's lit. And so Charlotte is going to pour this around it and you'll hear the bubbling. Are you ready? There it goes. See? Whoa, it went out pretty quickly there. 
And remember, the flame did not get wet at any point. It was just from the bubbles, just from the carbon dioxide. Now here's what happened. Carbon dioxide was created whenever the acid, vinegar, and the baking soda, which was the base, were combined. And carbon dioxide is invisible, but you can see it in the bubbling of the vinegar and baking soda mixture. And carbon dioxide is denser and heavier than air, and so it filled up the bottom of the bowl around the candle, and the candle went out because the carbon dioxide pushed out the less dense oxygen that the candle flame needed in order to burn. Fires need oxygen, and so carbon dioxide pushes out the oxygen because it's more dense. So there you have it. There's carbon dioxide. Thank you for joining us today. Bye.